Okay, so the uh, orange and yellow uh, cord is the uh, main trunk coming back from the panel. And um, if we're over 55 feet, we can trim that one back to just where the uh, back of the tape is. So uh, to give us, you know, another six inches or so if we had to. So that runs underneath the uh, floorboards through the conduit. And it comes out here and splits. The red cord is for the fuel center line. That's all that comes in on this side. And then the orange cord, the real thin string, is for the <clears throat> grip uh, switches. And then this comes over to um, the center tunnel. And it goes through the center section. Conversely, over on the far side, we have, uh, you can see the orange and yellow is all the connectors that will go to the servo. And then the red and black is the fuel sender. And it comes across both these bays. There's some orange string there, that's for the co-pilot push-to-talk switch. And it comes up here and it joins up with the... Uh, other aft main cable and they go through both through the center section and they come out of the center section right there the starboard side cable crosses over and joins the um, joins the other the aft cable they both go through the uh, center tunnel and then up following the conduits that are existing, we'll either put conduit or some sort of wire protection over them. Okay, we're, here's the firewall and there's the, the two cables coming up uh, following the conduit. We'll protect those as we just said. Uh, these both come up and connect underneath So they, they come up there, they come across, and they, uh, one of them, the one from the aft portion of the plane, follows this wire bundle around. This is the port side of the aircraft. And it comes out underneath there and then follows along. I've got a little brace here just to hold the wires together and it splits off with the LRUs on the on the sub panel and the display screens and any switches that need to uh, tie in comes around I've got a instrument panel center brace and then it comes up and goes on top of the radio stack on top of the GNX 375 and the GNX 375 will connect there. We'll come around here in a second. Okay, that red and black cord is the uh, where the uh, GNX 375 cable will come off and that just goes across the top of the GNX GNX 375 and we'll uh, use a uh, 8L clamp or something to support it in the middle there. And then it comes through an 8L clamp. That's the side of the GNX 375. And there's various lines that come off there. That's a uh, uh, that's going to be the power cable line. That's the GDU 470 number two. This is the ELT, which will go up and splice into this switch here. You can see that this one is the grounds 
and these are these will all go to this ground block here. I'm just leaving it long. They can be shortened later on. Then it comes through another 8L clamp comes around the corner here and there's a hole in the sub panel with a 8L clamp and uh, that comes across and this wire bundle goes all the way across behind the sub panel and all the way over till it uh, gets past the IBBS and then goes back down in, uh, along that conduit. So basically the cable is coming from the aft part of the airplane through the center section, up the tunnel, up the tunnel, around, behind the instrument panel, all the LRUs are branched off and switches and the screens, comes back through here, and then we catch the GE a25 and the GRT 200 and GNX 375 are all connected right there. And there's the branches, you can see them hanging off there. And then it goes when it goes by the IBBS, there's a IBBS connector there. And then it goes right parallel with the incoming cable, goes down, parallels the incoming cable. Splits off, goes through the center section into the right wing or the starboard wing um, for the um, roll servo and OAT and um, the uh, fuel line. 